Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of my UE4 tutorial series. In this episode, we're going to round off our little platformer experience with the ability to walk into a trigger and end the game, or more specifically, restart the level. So let's jump right in. What we want to do first is in our little room we've made with a door, we want to make a trigger where you walk into it. It initiates text appear on the screen that says congratulations, and then after roughly two seconds, the, the, re the level restarts and you go back to the beginning. So let's make our, our trigger first. So in a folder location of your choice, let's right click, blueprint class, actor type, because this will sit in level, it'll be a physical thing we can interact with. Uh, for consistency, I like to name my things with a prefix of PP. I'm going to call this end trigger. And once you've made that, open it up. So the one thing we need to add is in the top left, the components tab, click add component, look for box collision, add that. And we can just call this interaction collider. You can name it whatever you like. I just like calling that for ease of ease of naming. Kit compile. And just we're gonna we're gonna want to scale this up a little bit so we can easily walk into it. So yeah, that, we can just kind of give it a uh, say 5.25. That's what I have, but feel free to give it anything. Compile again, save, and before we jump too far into giving it a whole bunch of code, we're gonna just quickly drag that into the level. Raise it up. Feel free to kind of conform this to the space in which you're working with. So I'm going to make it the entire end of this room, just so you cannot miss it. There's no way you could miss it. So sure, this is going to encompass the entire end of the room. And what I want to do is I want to create what's going to be called or what's going to display the text for us. In an Unreal, this is called a widget. And so to make a widget, we can right click on the content browser, go to user interface and click widget blueprint. I'm going to prefix with WG for widget and call this end screen. And you can just go ahead and open that up. So this is what we, this is the UMG interface. UMG is um, the system in which case in which you build the UI in Unreal. And it might be a bit intimidating at first, but we'll kind of walk through the steps. Thankfully, we only need to make one thing on our entire, our entire um, widget. And that's a line of text. So to quickly explain. What you see right here, this is this little panel you see, is what's called a canvas panel. And this is just a way of um, positioning and laying out aspects of your screen. And so you can picture this as the user's screen, like a HUD, the main menu, things like that. This is the, the front end, basically. And what we want to do is just simply add text. So we can go here, drag this text in. You know, if you don't know where text is, you might just scroll a little bit down. It's under the Commons tab and just right here. And there's plenty you can choose from, but we're just going to pick text for now. Drag that in. You'll see it appear with some arrow at the top. For now, we don't need to worry about that. You just need to worry about this. What we want to do is we want to make this really big. We want to make it encompass a lot of the screen. So we're going to click the one of the arrow, the little points, scale it up. You'll see the text The text itself isn't scaling, but that's fine. Once you have that kind of eh, good size, well, actually, because we're going to make it really big, don't do that. On the details panel on the right side, You'll see a tab for appearance. You'll see justification. Click center. So we first want to center it. And now we want to increase the text size. So you'll see a drop down here for font. Under font, you'll see size. Let's change this to 72. Nice and big. And let's say I want to make it green. Up here, you'll see color and opacity. Feel free to click this. On the very bottom left, I'm going to drag it down, change it to a nice green, and hit OK. And then to kind of give it a nice little text, I'm going to go to the little text um, option right here and type in congratulations. And I do not know how to spell. Okay, there we go. A little exclamation point. There. And our text is kind of, this kind of right, you can spend a bit more time centering if you like. Maybe you make it even bigger, but that's what we need for now. So hit compile, hit save, and that's all we need to do. F go, feel free to close the widget for the end screen. We don't need to look at it anymore. Now let's go back to our end trigger. Here, I want everybody to select the interaction collider component and the details panel, just like we did before. At the very, very, very bottom in our events area, we want to click on be component begin overlap. And feel free to select that. It'll generate the interaction event. And to start, because this is what's going to trigger our game to end, 
we want it to only happen once. So we can't just keep doing it over and over and over again. Um, because what's going to happen is that once this runs and triggers all the end, the end game to happen, it's going to run the end game and it's going to reset the level and this gets reset as well. But if, because we were going to put a delay on it, so we're going to have it wait two seconds before it restarts, we don't want to be able to keep walking to the trigger over and over again before that two seconds comes up. So we're going to start off with a simple do once. We're going to, from here, so we can guarantee that this code's going to run once per reset, we're going to do a create widget. We're going to select the class or the type of widget we have. So if you click here, you'll see our widget end screen right here. Click that. Hit compile quickly. And then here, from here, we're going to, from the return value pin, do add to viewport. This just means add to the screen. Anyone who's in the game currently, if you had a split screen or multiplayer, it'll apply to everyone's screen. Hit compile. And let's see what happens. It looks right. Let's hit play. And just to test it. So quickly running through. All right, that's good. Let's run into here and see what happens. And there we go. Our text appears. Now all we need to do is actually have the game reset. And that's as easy. There's a few options. We're going to go with a bit of a weird one. Right click, look up execute console command. What this is going to do is to tell the actual application to execute this functionality. So in this command little pin, we're going to type in restart level, no space. And we can hook that up. However, the current problem is that there is no delay here. Right now it's going to execute immediately. So we can quickly just right click, look up a delay node. Make some room for it. And give it a value of 2.0 seconds. Hit compile. And then let's try it out. Run in. Shoot. Door opens. Run in. Congratulations. Yay. And boom, boom. Our entire level restarts. We can now keep going. Do it again. And there we go. So. To extend upon this, if you would like to take this further, right now it's only restarting the level. Which means it's an infinite experience of the same level. If you wanted to make another level, instead of running this particular node, what you could do is right click and look for open level. And if you wanted to, let's say instead, at the end of this level, run a specific level like level 2 or level 3, all you need to do is type in the name of the level. So if you named your level level 2, just type level two here. Easy as that. And that's it. I'll end our little series on platforming in a project. Thank you for joining me.